Welcome to the Namibian Gold Rush. No, we're not talking about mining. We're talking about charcoal. Namibia's black gold. Charcoal is Namibia's oldest biomass value chain, making it one of the largest employment generation sectors of the Namibian economy. What we at the NCI use, we use a little bit of a formula, and the formula is how much charcoal was produced. Because we know on average how much a charcoal worker can produce per month. So we use that figure and our, our estimate at this stage is for this year is that we're just over 8,000 charcoal workers in the country. As farmers are struggling in the drought, many of them turn to making charcoal. They organize charcoal production on their land, they employ or subcontract charcoal workers and pay them per ton of charcoal. Systematically, you can debush your camps of your farm, um, which I think is very important. You see, still again, no grass here. There you can see the line, and the idea is to see on the line while you're driving your lines how many piles they're packing. Are they really burning? Are they really working? You can see immediately are they on the lines or not. So you've got you've got a hundred percent control over the employers, which I think is very important, especially if you have so many employees. Producing charcoal is hard work, but it pays off. Farmers pay their workers an average of 800 Namibian dollars per ton of charcoal. A worker who produces 5 tons per month can therefore expect to earn 4,000 Namibian dollars. Very productive charcoal workers can take home up to 8,000 Namibian dollars per month. Chopping trees. Because here at least it depends to your power. The more, the more you work, the more also you are gaining income to come. This one I used to cut them only per day. If I'm starting from 6 o'clock or maybe to 1 o'clock there, I'll take a break, a shot. Then like 3 o'clock when there's no much heat there, I must come also to cut a bit to chop. At the other time also I have to do collections. So to make it a ton, then at least you have to produce uh, 20 bags of charcoals, then you gain 9.50. Cap kule. I guess capital kule and brand work. It gets self and it's clear, it pack them, it to the sack, rope them the tracker, they go for now, they make them ready eight. Adding value to a product before you export it is a good idea and benefits the country as a whole. Here, the charcoal is sorted, tested and packaged before it is shipped to Europe. This is our screening machine whereby the charcoal has been split in different sizes. First of all, we have to cut the bags and we pour the charcoal in the bin for our traceability and for our quality. There is a meme that is taking the woods out because we don't want our charcoal to have woods. The majority of workers in this packaging sector are women who often struggle to find jobs in rural areas. When I started working here, I was also working in the packing department. And from there, after five years, my bosses sent me for the computer training. Then I become a stock in quality. The, the whole production, most of the work is only for the women. Men, it's only for offloading and pulling the, the catrol or packing on the pellet. Certification of charcoal by the Forest Stewardship Council, for example, is another good strategy to add value and create benefits for the country and its people. We are contextualizing the generic international forest stewardship standards to a local level. For Namibia, we are taking the generic standards uh, and using six Namibian nationals that represent economic, environmental and social interests to adapt that standard for Namibian conditions. It provides credibility to what you do. It is a management tool that allows the farmer a complete system to help him evaluate his own business practices. It allows ethical choices to be made. And most importantly, it's a verification system that allows your national legislation to be verified through various mechanisms. In order to obtain the certificate, you must commit to certain standards. These include environmental principles, but also standards that regulate safety for workers, their social security, as well as accommodation and accessibility of water. All of this might cost the farmer more money, but in return he also earns more when selling certified charcoal. His customers in Europe want to make sure that the products they use do not destroy rainforest. 
They are therefore prepared to pay a premium price for certified Namibian charcoal.